my name is Moira Itzel Torres Aguilar and I am a second year PhD student at LMD here at Ecole Polytechnique. Today I'm going to present to you the installations with which I have worked during my thesis. For the first part, I have worked here at CIRTA. This installation consists of five different panels of different technologies and we also have another one on the rooftop of the dry X, which consists of 52 panels of six different technologies. The goals of behind these solar installations is so that here at CIRTA we have a continuous monitoring of current voltage characteristics which allow us to study the sensibility of the efficiency of these panels under this, this environment. This will allow us to go from weather forecasting to power forecasting. In the case of the dry X, well, it was conceived for the idea of studying the IoT infrastructure, energy management strategies, also comparing different technologies between them. And this is actually achieved by having a battery storage capacity installed alongside a charging point for electric vehicles and some smart meters. For this particular project, uh, four laboratories were involved. One of them is LMD, of course, and the other three are GIPS, LPICM, LISN. The DRYX is actually part of a European project, FEDER, Grid Power for Sustainability, and it was also financed by the chair Dieter, and it, it was installed alongside five other startups, of which are Luceor, Evolution Energies, Elom Energy, CLEM, and Dot Vision. So the people behind this idea are for CIRTA, one of my advisors, Amiga Duba, she worked with GIPS. They first wanted to study how panels really perform under different environmental conditions because in 2014, there weren't that many laboratories that were doing it. But also in a collaboration with LMD and Ecole Polytechnique and CIRTA, which have the capacity to really work with this amount of data and curate it and, and maintain it and store it, they decided to make this installation and both this and the dry X, they're not just used for research, they're actually also used for courses at the Ecole Polytechnique. In the case of dry X, it was Philippe Drobinski and Jordi Badosa, another one of my advisors, and they decided that since this school was really for renewable energies, they wanted to become a staple, a beacon in this field, and so they decided to build that demonstrator. So actually today I can share with you some of the results I have obtained after 18 months of analyzing data and that is for these particular two panels we see a difference between winter and summer of 16% for this crystalline silicon and of 3% for that microcrystalline amorphous tandem. In the case of the dry X, we can see that due to the trees that are nearby the installation, there's a loss of 5 to 7% of energy produced throughout the year. And actually, there's another part where we have installed mirrors in front of the panels just to see if that would increase our energy produced. And it has uh, for about, by about 1%. Mostly, I would say this installation is used for courses at Ecole Polytechnique and DryX, due to the amount of data that it has and that we have so many different panels for the same technology, which invites different types of studies, there are possibly a lot of collaborations in the future. So the MSc and T program really helped me prepare for the PhD life because it had different theoretical courses, but also practical ones. For example, there were some where I had to do some solar resource analysis and others where I had to do project management, which is applied to industry and real life cases. So that along with the life, student life, I think really helped me understand and be better prepared and choose a PhD at Ecole Polytechnique.